Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Football Daily Weekly. It's lovely to have your eyes looking at us. Uh, Lawrence is here and Adam is here as well. Gentlemen, we've got to talk about the best goalkeepers in the world mm. currently. Oh. Um, big chat, because, uh, uh, I mean, it's not as clear-cut as it has been in, in previous uh, goalkeeping generations. So, uh, let me start off by saying most people's choice for number one goalkeeper in the world would possibly be Joe Hart. No, I'm joking. Uh, Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer. Yes. Yeah? Number one, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. yeah, some people are saying he's still developing as a goalkeeper because he's still very young. Yeah, so he'll be even better. better than he is currently now, so he'll be the number one for many a year. Yes, 100%. Petr Cech. Hey, he's been a phenomenal keeper for yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, I think he would have been rated as the best in the world before Neuer sort of emerged. Mm. Does, does he suffer from being in the same team for such a long time that it almost just seems normal that Cech would start? I think uh, he would start take it, at, take it for granted. Yeah, he's, well, he, he's t he gets taken for granted by people who rate. Well, he, he's like part of the football furniture. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So mm. he's oh, yeah. so people just always overlook him and they go, oh yeah, we know he's good. Checks and go. Yeah. yeah, you know. So that that's the problem. He's been so consistent for Chelsea. Yeah. While other players are getting phased out, this talk has always been, you know, check is keeps keeps his place. And Courtois, mm. who is on Chelsea's books, yeah. is being. Arguably, he's in another league where they're doing possibly just as well as Chelsea. But he's, you know, been kept out of this team, and mm. other managers would have been tempted possibly to bring him through because he's such a good, promising young goalkeeper. Mm. Um, well, Courtois could um, be in there for one of the best keepers in the world. Top ten, top yeah. ten, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about I'll Gigi Buffon? Gigi Buffon. Yeah. Well, Certainly, a few years ago, people would have had him as, as number one. Um, you know, he's he's uh, more advanced in years um, mm. than them, as we all are. Uh, is he still one of the best goalkeepers in the world? Prone to a mistake or two. Mm. Mm. Not not more recently with Juve, but he did have a couple of years where it yeah. looked a bit shaky for yeah. him. He's still got to be up there, hasn't he? Yeah. Be up there. Top five. Um, it's also distribution, I think. We should probably mention that as a goalkeeper mm -hmm. and, uh, and how well you can distribute the ball mm. and also whether you can play well within your own system. Some goalkeepers, such as maybe Victor Valdez. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, he's a quality keeper, Victor Valdez. And should perhaps be mentioned in, in the chat of best goalkeepers in the world. Not top five, though. Not top five. Um, well, what about the other Spanish keepers? I mean, you've got Casillas, who's not played that much. But then the man who's, who's keeping him out, Diego Lopez, has to have a mention. Because if he's Good keeping point. Casillas out yeah. the side, and we thought it was, oh, Mourinho's fallen out and he's trying to put a marker on, but Ancelotti's done the same. No, he, he, yeah, it's a testament to Lopez that he's kept someone like Casillas on the team. Mm. What about, um, in, in, in good old England, uh, David De Gea? I really like David De Gea. Yeah, when he started, there was so much criticism of him. You mm -hmm. know, he had a really tough start, and he just he's improved so much mm -hmm. um, since he came to Manchester United. And his shot stopping is unbelievable. Some mm -hmm. last year, um, Real Madrid in the Champions League, some of those stops are amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I think he's top five. You think, you think he's in there, I Lawrence? There would you five. agree? Would you put him in that category? Top five, yeah, I'd say really? so. Really? Yeah. And he's still only twenty-two or something. Young lad, yeah. Is it ridiculous to say Joe Hart should he be mentioned? I mean, uh, he's no. obviously. He is really good. He mm. needed that spell out of the team where he got yeah. dropped to sort of um, refocus him. I, I, I don't think he's say he's top five. But yeah, I, he's a good keeper, but perhaps when it comes to the real cream of the crop, he's not quite there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a tricky one with goalkeeper, isn't it? Because Neuer is perhaps the standout candidate. Mm. Um, whereas in seasons gone by, you know, Buffon, where he's the top of his game, Casillas, when he was playing well. Um, we, we, you know, we've had a few more, so it is a trickier um, debate mm. these who, days. Who, who's, who'd be in your top five then? Top five, to, I, I, to I think easy. Neuer would be in there. Number one. Yeah. Neuer. Yeah. Check. Yeah, I think we've had check. Gigi Buffon. Gigi Buffon. Yeah. Who else? I uh, think Courtois. Courtois. Want David De Gea? David De Gea. I'd David De Gea. No, no, place for, no place for Pantillimon, <laughs> certainly. No. Unfortunately, so. Yeah. Who would want to be a, a second choice goalkeeper? What, one of the richest clubs in the world. A lot of people. I'm sure they would be, people a, be queuing up. They would be queuing up. Must be awful. Right then. Well, uh, do let us know uh, who your uh, the best goalkeepers are in the world currently. Uh, thank you very much to Adam and Lawrence uh, for your thoughts. Um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.